If it's not too much to ask for, I was wondering if maybe like you could give me your number or something. What is up you guys and welcome back to another episode of Catching Gold Digger. So before we get started, I have some people that I want to introduce to you guys. Some of them you might know, some of them you might not, but anyways, here we go. This is Denzel. I know a lot of you guys probably know him if you guys watch my vlogs. He's actually a really funny dude. You guys obviously all know Leslie over her. Some of you guys might know Michael. Michael's actually 15. A fun fact, he's actually been helping me with videos for like two years now, right, Michael? Like since I started, it's crazy. And some of you guys might know Muba, and Muba's actually the reason why we're here, and we'll get to that in a second. But anyways, now that they're all introduced, and now that you know everyone, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for supporting us with all of our videos, and yeah, yeah, let's get started. So as you guys all know here, we are gathered here because we're trying to find Muba, a girlfriend who is not a gold digger. Muba, why do the girls you date always end up being gold diggers? I think it's the fact that I just spoil them way too much up okay. front, and then they just end up- Getting used to it. Right, I just spoil them and spoil them, and they just expect more and then the one day I don't it's just yeah dang okay anyways movie you're on a dating app right yes. and before you go on a date with these girls we're in charge of testing these girls see if they're gold diggers and if they're not then you can go on a date with them Absolutely. and if they are then you don't end up going on a date with them so who's the lucky contender today all right so today we have Isabella she's 24 years old okay she's a nurse okay she's Latina okay she's a cat lover so that's a plus okay um, <laughs> and she's very flirty what is up guys, so right now we're currently checking out some alleys because we have this crazy idea for a gold digger prank and yeah, we need an alley for it. This is gonna work, right guys? It's gonna work? What are you mm -ming about? First of all, this area is too ghetto. What? Gangsters what? everywhere. Did you not see the gangsters outside? They're homies. No, I don't. What do you think, Muba? I don't feel comfortable. With you don't feel comfortable don't here feel either? Comfortable. What? This is like a really nice alley though. What do you think of this, Lester? Are you scared too? Um, we should try another spot. Really? All right, perfect. This alley. Oh, hell no. What's wrong with this one? You just one? drive right across the street to get here. Yeah, but it's across the street. What's the difference? It's one street away from the Cholos. Bye, no, I'm not feeling it. This is perfect. This isn't gonna work. It, it looks really big. No, like. first of all, there's nowhere to hide the cameras. Where are we gonna hide the cameras? I think it'll work. No, it's not gonna work. It is nice. not gonna work. We need a pole for there this is a prank. There is Where? no pole. What if we bring a pole here? <laughs> <laughs> Michael, you have a stripper pole laying around somewhere? No, I, I don't. Do. I have one. Look at this lovely pole right that here. That pole's not big enough. That's not it. wide enough. Okay, we can try this pole over here. This pole is perfect. That pole is not yeah. thick enough. I like this one. Very nice. Okay, I don't care what anybody says. We're going to do it here. I don't like this one either. No, Denzel, we're doing it here. No, I don't care. No, we're doing it here. Leslie says we're doing it here, so we're doing it here. That's Look, cool. perfect pole right there. That's the perfect pole right no, that there. Pole That's cool. the perfect pole. That pole is too ratchet. All right guys, so now that we have our alley and we have our pole, now we came to Walmart because we need tape. Because yes, I'm gonna be taped to that pole in the alley. All right guys, how many you guys think I should take? Black or white? One, two, I three think rolls? I should take them all. What? Yeah, you should take them all. Why? Because you're fat. What? what? Dude, you're fat. I am not fat. You're fat. I am not fat. fat. I weigh less than you. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You, no, you don't. Yes, I do. You want to no, bet? Yeah, 100 bucks. No, 100 bucks. 20. 1,000. No, 20. I don't have that type of money like you. 10,000. $10. $10. $50. All right, Muba weighs. What does that say? Moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth. Oh. I weigh. Uh-uh, it's broken. It's broken. It's broken. Leslie weighs. <sighs> guys, I don't want you guys to find out this way, but I mean, I guess it's better if you guys just know, right? Well, because of YouTube demonetizing our videos, we barely have enough money to get Leslie new shoes now. I mean, just look at Denzel's shoes. We had to find these at a park, and they thankfully were his size. But for only $1,000 a month, we can all be wearing Yeezys and Jordans and we could look super fresh if you guys just donated. So please open up your wallets, open up your hearts, and just give us all of your mother money now. Just kidding guys, these are just their dance shoes. All right, so now we actually decided to come back to the alley to give this a test run. That way on the day of filming, everything goes like nice and smooth. As you guys know, for the prank, I'm supposed to be duct taped onto this pole over here. So Michael has volunteered to play our test dummy. And Denzel over here is gonna be taping Michael up to the pole because he actually has the most experience tying people up. Oh, you like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You like that? Oh. You, like, you like that feeling on the pole? Hi, Leslie. Hi. Do you want to be taped onto the pole too? No. Okay, first of all, you guys just did this completely wrong. This is not what I had pictured whatsoever. This is art. I call it delivery. <laughs> <laughs> to finish it off. Oh, perfect. Try to get out. Can you get out? Can you move? Okay, so it's gonna work, right? It's gonna work for the videos. All right, let's go. Call it a day. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye Michael. Bye. We'll see you later. Hey, guys, wait for me. Come and think of the guys. We brought no scissors. 
No! Oh no! my god. We brought no scissors, so we're trying to rip it with the key. Rip it with your hand. I can't rip it with my hand or with my teeth. It's not coming out. I got you. We got the Audi oh. here. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh, too bad, Michael. Looks like you're stuck. Oh. There you go, sir. Oh. Hey! Watch there out, you're is. getting me, not the tape. It's okay, take the pain. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, guys, in order for this to be a gold digger prank, there has to be some sort of money involved, so that's why we have our luxurious bag of cash over here, and we're probably gonna put it in some backpack or something and, like, hide it, like, underneath there or something. You're gonna leave all this money here right now? It'll still be here when we come back for the prank. Are you serious? Yeah, I think so. All right, guys, it is time to get serious. This is our simple master plan. We will text Isabella of an address of a house that is further down the alley. And once she texts him that she is parked, he's going to ask her to come down the alley because he actually sent her the wrong address, but to not worry about moving her car because it's only about a one minute walk. And once she walks down the alley, that's when she's going to run into me. I clearly did not think this through. I should have worn a sweater. Now all of my little hairs over here are gonna be ripped off as soon as they yank the tape off. Sergio didn't give me any head Phones. On top of that, he didn't tell me what to do if she ends up not being a gold digger. Am I supposed to be like, hello, how are you doing? My name is Muba. Congratulations. Okay, we did it, guys. So now we just have to wait like 20 minutes until she gets here. Oh my god, we did not think this through. Excuse me, can you help me, please? Oh my god, what happened? <laughs> oh my god, it's a long story. <laughs> Oh my god, it is such a long story. So you guys wanted to mug me, but before they could mug me, I hid all of my money, and then they decided to tie me up because I they couldn't find my money. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know, can you help um, me please? How I, I can you start off by taking my glasses off because they're about to slip off actually. Okay, perfect. You can put them in my hand. Oh, thank you so much, that's much better. Oh my god, and I can actually see better now. <laughs> what in the world? How is that possible? <laughs> you are um, so beautiful. You are honestly so beautiful. If, <laughs> if it's not too much to ask for, I was wondering if maybe like you could give me your number or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm actually seeing someone. What? What do you mean? Like I'm talking to someone? No, you're not. That is such I'm a lie. Sure. I feel <laughs> bad for you. <laughs> you don't have scissors like in your car or something? No, I honestly don't. You don't have don't. a pocket knife? Anything like that? No. <laughs> maybe you could bite it off or maybe... <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna happen. <laughs> I mean, if you're not gonna help me out of here, can you at least just help me with uh, making sure my money's okay? Um, <laughs> where is it? You see that bush over there? Uh -huh. My money's there. Turn it right off. I can see it. It's like in plain sight. Like, you see it? That one. Yes. Try opening it. See if my money's inside. It should be in a plastic bag. Oh, oh look, I could just stand up. <laughs> I'm dangling off the ground for no reason. Oh my goodness. Yes, that is it right there. Okay, okay. This wait, wait, can I see it? Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me make sure it's all there. Uh -oh. No, no show, show me the bag. Like, I want to see the bag. Okay. Oh okay, perfect. God. I recently just won the lottery. That's why these guys wanted to mug me. Oh and I, I know. How did they know that you won the lottery? They're stalkers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> They're stalkers, but I just, honestly, I just threw my bag and I started running the opposite direction and then they couldn't find it. Even though it was like in plain sight right there. I know, but okay. If you could just put that right over here, please. How but, did not anyone uh, pass by and like help you? I don't know. I don't know. I think. But I mean, I'm pretty sure somebody will pass by pretty soon. I hope so. But yeah, that's what I was trying to ask you out. So hopefully you could like brighten up my day and like make me feel a lot better, you know, and I can take you somewhere nice with all of my money. We can go on a very expensive dinner on a yacht. I don't know. We could just do some fun stuff. We can rent out a mansion for a night, rent out a Lamborghini or something for a night. I can even just buy a Lamborghini. What am I saying? <laughs> I freaking like won the lottery. What am I saying? Would I... you be down for it? Yeah. Yeah. I actually be down for it. Yes. High awesome. five. Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay, shoot me your phone number. In my bag, I think I have a Sharpie, actually. Check the little pocket. This one? Yeah. I think there's a Sharpie right there. All right, you see okay. it? Okay. Write it down on my hand. On your hand. Yeah. First. What was your name, by the way? Isabella. Oh, Isabella. My name's Sergio. Nice to it's meet a pleasure you. meeting you, and oh. too bad I'm all tied up and everything. I'm just gonna stuff, put but... Izzy for short, okay? Okay, sounds good. I know, too bad I'm tied up and we can't go I hang know. out right now and stuff, but maybe in a couple of hours somebody will pass by or something. I hope so. And you're positive you don't have scissors, a guy, I any, don't. do you have your keys on you? Yes. Maybe try your keys. Let's see. I don't even have no sharp keys. <laughs> <laughs> something just to get me up. This is, nope. Uh, no? No? Mm -mm. 
<laughs> Come on! I don't have any sharp teeth, they're all dull. <laughs> You know what? That's okay. I'll just wait for somebody to come by, like I said. But hey, what, what is that shiny over there? You see that shiny right there? Yeah, what is that? It's a shovel. Oh my god, it's a shovel! How did that get there? And it's gold, so you guys are twinning because you're a gold digger! I'm cool! Nope, I'm taking this. Picture. What are you doing? No, 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 hey, come back! What are you doing? Hey, Izzy! Izzy, no! Hey, seriously! I messed up because here's what happened. After Isabella left and took my backpack, I told Muba to call her up to text her, tell her, hey, give me the backpack back, give me the backpack back. And I realized how that was a huge giant mistake because now she knows that we work together. What we should have done was you should have like still gone on the date and then I would have shown up and been like, where's my backpack? The money is actually cinematic money right there, which looks like super real, but it isn't real. What I care about is the backpack. So yeah, we've now just been straight up like bugging her and stuff like that. So she just texted back. And this is what she said. Notice how we saved her name. I left your backpack in the trash can in the alley now we have to go back to the alley we have to find the trash can that she dumped my backpack in and we gotta go get my backpack oh.